Hiya and welcome to the Groovy Sleep Train. If this is your first time watching me then today I'm going to be talking about feminine hygiene products but I talk about lots of different things on this channel and it's all ASMR and relaxation based so if you like it go ahead and click subscribe below. So I've been meaning to do this video for quite some time now and I think the first time I floated the idea was when I did my um, Spain haul, if you remember, and um, you guys were like really positive and saying that I should do it, and I decided I would, and then it's taken me quite a while to get around to actually doing it, and a few of you were actually commenting and messaging me saying, hey, when are you going to do that feminine hygiene product video? So today, finally, I'm getting around. One of the reasons it's taken me so long is because I was like, I'll wait until I've got loads of different things in, all unopened, but that just is not how life works because you need to use these things and it just kind of didn't happen that way. So I'm just going with what I've got already. So I'm going to start with sanitary pads. And these ones... I've never tried before, but they're always night ones and apparently sensitive and really soft. Soft like cotton is what it says. The reason I wanted to do this video was because I saw um, Canada Gin, I think her name is. And she's a Canadian girl who lives in Tokyo. And she did a video about feminine products in Tokyo and Japan and how to sort of work your way around it as a Westerner. And I found it so interesting to see the different types of products on offer, but also the um, packaging and stuff, I found it very relaxing. So I wanted to do my own. seen these before. But I thought I would try them. It's was worth a try. I think there's too many products that have um, chemicals in them and perfumes, like there's so many pads and stuff that are scented. And it bugs me because like you just you really don't need that in that area because it's really not good for you. So I'm always looking to find ones that are more na not necessarily natural but just have less crap in them. absorbency night time but like really wafer thin there which is great let's see what it's like
first glance it looks like a pretty standard nighttime winged sanitary pad but it is very soft and it strikes me as very interesting at how like thin it is like it's not gonna be uncomfortable in any way whatsoever which is great because at night that's like the last thing that you want um yeah they look great looking forward to seeing what they're actually like Basically, they come in a box, it's like a cardboard box, and they're amazing. They're my favourite, but they're incredibly expensive, um, so they are called the Always Infinity, Infinity Smart Foam Sanitary Pads. Now these have only been in Britain for about, say like maybe two years, not very long, like they're quite like new on the market here I would say, they're not, they've not been around for ages and I know that they've probably been around in America for quite some time, but they have this like smartphone technology as you can see it says here, where when you kind of like move about the sanitary pad does not become compressed and stay compressed it's like because it's foam it's like a sponge like it always bounces back to its original shape so they're like super comfortable and i cut the top off it uh, off the box and um, so it fits in the medicine cabinet easier but the, these are the night ones it says there but i actually have the long, are they the long plus, yeah, long winged ones inside which come in a purple one, because I had a box of two and then one finished. They're like the most comfortable pads ever, that I've ever come across, and I remember seeing the advert on TV. And um, it had like, like a scientist like holding it in her hand and she like scrunched it up and then let go and it like bounced back. As soon as the first time when I saw that advert I was like, whoa, these are, look amazing, I have to try them. meaning to get more of these yesterday but decided for those sensitive ones because they were new and I thought I'd give them a try. Absorb 10 times their weight, mould to your body so you barely feel it, incredibly soft and thin. It says micro holes pull liquid deep down for a dry feeling, channels for leak protection and flexibility. There's quite a lot of technology that I've gone into these. the difference between this and the one that we just saw that looked a bit more like a traditional maybe you'll see the difference straight away so it's not got the 
same sort of patterns on it and the texture of it looks different um, it's got these lines across and little dimples up there that run through the middle um, and they are they really do I'm going to demonstrate right and then look bounces back to its original form it's just it's crazy it bounces back brilliant absolute genius I just wish they weren't so expensive but it's because they are so good um, and they sometimes they're like on offer occasionally so next up we are going to move on to tampons um, depending on where you're from you've probably seen these before but you know it's cool not necessarily here to learn new stuff um, so this is the Tampax compact range and these are applicator tampons um, they um, like compact so they can like bounce out I'll show you in a minute whereas some of them come like long um, this is how it's supposed to be when it's long that middle one but when you open it it's half the size regular kind so that's six to nine grams of content and they come in all the sizes like regular super and super plus and I remember what the advert for these were when they first came out it was a guy and a girl in a restaurant and the girl oh yeah the guy asked for oh do you have any sugar? And she was like, oh yeah, I've got some packets in my bag. They're like in a coffee shop or something. And then he goes into a bag, pulls out the tampon and starts like shaking it as if you sh it's sugar. You know, like when you shake those little paper packs of sugar. And then she just started laughing. And that's where like the advert sort of ended. And they were like so discreet. Nobody will know what they are. But of course, like, Everybody knows what they are now, but at the time, because they were so new, it was like, oh my god, they look like little sweets or something. So let's get in there. It's a new packet, not opened yet. open a pack of these or even a pack of tampons in general and they're all like this on top there's always a leaflet of information always um, if you're new to tampons then you have to read it to understand how they work and you know to be to be safe with them knowing how long you wear them for and how often to change used to them and I normally just kind of like discard it to be honest and then they're all in there regular it's normally yellow coloured and they look like these little things they are quite discreet 
discreet. They are. Oh, it's gone so dark here. Sorry. <laughs> the weather is just shocking at the moment and it's so hard to film because the light is terrible. But anyway, I like these little yellow ones and it does kind of look like candy or something. Little sweets. So the guy was like, in the advert, I had it and he was like shaking it like that. There's something about the packaging of this style of tampon that I like because there's almost like a semi-perforated edge down there. I don't know if you can see, it's like a white line there. And that kind of, it's not perforated, but it's sort of like that perforated kind of paper. So when you open it, it should just rip quite seamlessly. So let's have a look. This is what it looks like. So it's pretty small and it's plastic tubing, whereas on some of the more traditional ones it's um, paper. I should have started with one of those to be honest, sorry. It was paper, uh, but this one's plastic, which means it's slightly easier to uh, use them and to insert. Um, and it snaps out like that into the full, the full thing. So what you do is you put that part into your body and then push the second half into the first half and that releases the tampon into your body um, and then you discard the plastic. So this is a more standard tampon, Tampax um, tampon. That was really hard to say for some reason. This is the standard design. Um, Tampax is a brand. And in the UK, I think they're the most, like the largest Tampax brand. Like there's a couple of other ones, like Lilette's is one, and every like supermarket and and um, pharmacy and Boots, Superdrug, they have their own sort of their own branded ones as well. But Tampax is like the most widespread tampon brand in the UK. And these ones, same with the compact ones actually, they have this on the bottom of the tampon where the string is, it's got like this little extra bit of fabric. They call it a protective skirt, but it basically means like it's a little bit of a um, sort of edge so that it should hopefully prevent leaks from happening. But I like this packaging with all the dots on it. It feels very almost 80s, possibly 90s. So let's get into these. Very similar to the compact packet. You open it up and you can see them all. And then you have this little leaflet of information here. And these are green. They are the super type style absorbency. You know what I mean. Oh, the camera's moved slightly. Let's give you back. There we go. And these are less discreet as the compact. The wrapping is also paper. 
whereas the other ones were more like um, plastic, right? security guard like next to him who was like dealing with the queue next to me and then she like saw like there was a commotion happening and looked over and then looked that he was like looking at me suspiciously and holding these tampons in the air and then she was like what's the problem the guy was like she's got these what is this and then the woman was just like let her go put it back in her bag just let her go <laughs> and she like once he'd let me go, she was like, oh, what are you doing? I sort of had a little go at him. Bless him. I was like thinking, do you have no women in your life? Do you not, you know, a mother or a sister or a friend, you know, a girlfriend or a wife? I don't know. Anyway. So, I'll show you that these look like they're quite different to the compact. They have their perforated edge there too, but the same thing has happened, they're not perfect. I need to go in and try and rip them further. Okay. And then we have this uh, very similar, but it's a cardboard um, casing rather than um, a plastic casing but it works in exactly the same way. Um, the only problem the only problem that I've found with these is that sometimes the cardboard like sticks to each other there in this seam and sometimes the lower one doesn't slide into the top one as easily and that can be really difficult because it's hard to like get get it to get to slip and not cause any friction there on that joint but that's the only complaint I have about that kind. Like, really, I'm not that, I'm not that fussed about it. Okay, next kind are Tampax Pearl, and the top is cut off, like it was with the other one, because it fits in the medicine cabinet easier. But I've only got two left, so I'm going to get rid of this box now. These are kind of like, they've got plastic applicators like the compact ones do, but they're slightly different in that the top of the tampon is shaped like in a U shape, so it's supposed to like fit better and cause less leaks because of the way that it fits. Um, and it also has like a slightly thicker drawstring um, in order to for the string itself to be absorbent to an extent um, if there is a kind of leak situation happening. But these are really good, like I find them incredibly foolproof. Like if you're looking for a tampon to go 
swimming in or something like that. These are the ones for you. Like, sort of like an in crossbreed between the regular ones and the compact ones. It's got a plastic packaging but it's a bit more softer. It's like a thinner plastic sheet. own um, brand which is called Liberel. I don't know if that's supposed to be French. Liberel? I don't know. Um, but Boots is like a, a massive drugstore basically. A pharmacy and a drugstore. Um, as absorbent as the leading brand is what it says. And it's got similar packaging. You know, they're going for the same sort of branding really. It's that sort of navy blue with the colouring of different sort of graphics, very similar. But what's different about these ones is, uh, I'm supposed to open this different special way, I don't know. Oh, yep, I guess I'm supposed to open it like that. What's different about these ones is it's not applicator ones so they just come as they are like this and you applicate it yourself um, so there's you know less stuff going into the environment less plastic and random stuff um, and they're a lot more sort of easier to travel with because they're really small a lot more practical but yeah leading brands do a version of these. I don't think Tampax do, but I think Lillette's, the other one I mentioned earlier, Lillette's are the leading sort of brand in non-applicator tampons. Now the last couple of things I want to show you are um, liners or panty liners, whatever you could call them, where you're from. Um, there was this brand that used to exist called Moxie and they only used to have their products available at Superdrug but now they don't sell them in the UK anymore and I used to love them but they used to come with these tins like you could buy a pack that came with a tin and then you could keep your bits and bobs in the tin which I thought was so cute like I really enjoyed having like a little tin like that. It was, I don't know, there was just something about it that made it more exciting because then it's like nicer packaging, if that makes sense. But they don't sell them here anymore and I'll link their website below because the brand still exists but it's not available here anymore. Not even like on Amazon or online anymore or anything. But I just thought I'd show you that because it's a metal tin, so it's got a, a slightly different sort of sound to it. And the next ones are another ones by Always, who appear to be a massive brand in the sort of sanitary pad scene. I don't really use that many of the brands in that area. Um, 
but yeah, these are super, super light, so they're very thin. They're, they say normal flow, but mm, no, they're like incredibly light. They're just like, they're just in case, um, if you need them, it's like just in case, so you don't want to have any leaks or something like that. Uh, but they come in like all these different sizes, and you can get them when they're like, um, individually packed as well but uh, the reason I didn't buy the individually packed ones is because they are scented and I really don't like scented products so it's these ones and they're not scented but the box is cute the way it opens like that and it's got like this little picture of a bow on it it's cute and they're all just in there stacked up this is what it looks like. Super thin. And the good thing about these is it doesn't matter what underwear that you are wearing. You can wear them with any underwear because you can basically fold the edges over like that. Um, which is great for versatility. Because, um, you know, just in case you want to wear something different. Um, but it's only the middle area that's absorbent. You can see like the line of it. So it's important to make sure you get the placement of it in your underwear correct um, so it, that it actually works because if you get the placement wrong it won't actually be helpful and um, it won't be doing its job really. So there they are them. I really like those. I've never used them before but then my sister had some and I tried them and I was like oh these are really good. Okay. Another one is Carefree. Carefree is another sanitary brand. I think I don't know what it's what it's whether it's like from whether it's like British or from another country. I don't know, or whether it's like Boots is one of Boots's own versions. I'm not sure, but they're incredibly affordable carefree um, but yeah a lot of their products are also scented um, so that means there's lots of ones that I don't use but these ones are great they're just really easy and they're all individually wrapped so really good for like being on the go with them and then not quite as sophisticated as the uh, always ones you've just seen, but you know, it really doesn't matter that much, does it? And they come in an individual wrapping, and then it's just like a little envelope, really. And then it's in there, folded up, and you just unfold it. And these are very light as well, so it says, yeah, unscented light protection and this is in their regular size i think they had smaller sizes as well but this was the only one that was unscented so you got this one and then you just peel that off the back as you do with all of them and stick it in your underwear but they're really good just do the job really nothing special nothing bad about them they just they just are what they are and they work. I'm not got a massive opinion about them. <laughs> but yeah, so that was the feminine hygiene product video. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to do it, but I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.